Hey guys, this is Richard Price with High Tech Battery. Today we're going to be taking a look at the RBC 43 battery cartridge. I'm going to show you how to open the case up and replace the batteries inside of it. Uh, I'm assuming here that you already have purchased one of the battery kits for this unit. It is available through our website www.techbatterysolutions.com. Uh, Price at $99.95 with free shipping, 12 volt 5 amp hour batteries, high rate discharge model. Uh, already charged and low tested prior to shipping. Uh, so to begin, we have four screws all together to remove the front cover. Two screws here and then two more in the very back. Uh, the two tools that we're going to be using primarily throughout this entire video here is going to be a Phillips head screwdriver along with a flat head screwdriver to help us get some of the wires off. So let's begin by taking out the screws on the case here. The RBC 43 pack is one of the simpler packs to do from APC. Uh, if you've never done an APC battery installation or a repack of an APC battery cartridge, RBC 43 is an excellent place to start. Alright, so we got one more screw here. Once all the screws are off, you can remove the front cover. Go ahead and put that aside. And that will expose the eight batteries here in the pack. Uh, as you can see, the wiring is pretty plain. A uh, bunch of white or yellow wires, I should say, and one red lead coming off to the side here. So to begin, we're going to be removing one battery at a time and then putting a new battery in place of it immediately here so we don't lose track of any of the wires. Uh, so we're going to be starting with this battery here. And I'll flip this pack. Hopefully you can get a little bit of a better view in the perfect glare. Alright, so we're going to be doing this one here first. Uh, basically what you need to do here, the batteries are loose in the case. So, you just got to kind of lift it up here where the wires are. Get it out of the pack a little bit. And then you'll have your two wires here. And just held on by pressure. You can start by pulling off on the wires. That's one down. And then the other. As you can see on this battery here, it does have a positive terminal protector. Uh, this prevents the wire from, should it disengage from the terminal, from touching anything in the case itself. Even though it's encased in plastic, it's an extra, extra protective measure. Good idea to reuse this. So go ahead and discard that battery there. And you have one of your new batteries. You go ahead and put on the terminal protector there. And then we're going to install the battery the same way it came out. So connecting positive or negative first won't make a difference. Typically the positive is a little bit more difficult to do, so I like to do that one first. When you put these terminals back on the spade terminal connectors of the battery, make sure you push it up all the way as high as you can. And give it a good little tug test to make sure it's on there. Alright, we'll move on to our second battery here, same deal, just lift it up a little bit and then remove the wires. Alright, and this just came off so I'll go ahead and reuse that. Okay, and again, same way it came out, go ahead and attach the wires. Another one down. And we'll do this one here. I just wiggle the wires back and forth here to loosen them from the terminals. You can use the flathead screwdriver to kind of uh, tap them off a little bit, but a lot of times you're not going to need that.
Okay, towards the end you'll see that there's a little bit of, it's not even circuitry, there's just basically a fuse here. Uh, it's a little bit tighter space uh, for your fingers, just make sure you don't hit it on any of the jagged edges in here. This is machined aluminum, so it will cut you. Last one here. Alright, that should finish it up there. So your eight new batteries are installed, just double check your wires, make sure they're all on tight. Everything looks good. Okay, now you're ready to put the case back on. Should fall back into place. Then you can put your four screws back in. All right, you're good to go. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you could email us at sales at techbatterysolutions.com or give us a call toll free 1-877-775-4381. Again, my name is Richard and I appreciate you guys watching the video. Thank you.